Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. As you can see, we have a full house today. I'm very excited to introduce a very new face first, and we're going to start from my extreme left, simply because this person is a little psychic. She knew I was coming towards her, so I'm going to introduce her first before I introduce you to some familiar faces on my right, and I'll save our special guest for the last. Yo, before I do that, before I introduce you to Irene Mystery, before I have Irene tell us a little bit about herself, this program, Yoga Express, airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35 at 1.30 in the afternoon Eastern Time. Yoga Express, you can watch this program also on our studio website, www.mnn.org. If you're not in the Manhattan area, if you are right here, you could just go to mnn.org or watch us on those channels that I just mentioned. You could also visit my website, www.yogaexpress, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S.com to get a better sense of what we discuss right here and the moves, the postures that we take you through, that we workshop during this program. Irene Mystery. Yes. You are an amazing guest. Thank you. you were very funny. Before we even started, you got us all into a good mood, so it's very nice to have such positive energy on our show. Thank you. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm an actress. I'm a comedian. I'm called The Joke Mistress. I've been publishing humor on the internet for the 15 years. I have a website called jokedujour.com. Okay. What is I, um, uh, I publish humor. It is the first and the big and still the biggest, excuse me, female-operated humor list on the net. Wonderful. I have over 100,000 subscribers. Okay. And I perform comedy. I'm also a stage hypnotist. I, I'm not as, uh, certified, but I do know a lot about the body, about the massage. Right. And I know. I got a fascinating massage from you just yes. before we start. I, I kind of, I usually close my eyes and I go by what I feel. Right. And strange things come out of my mouth and people are like, oh, yeah, that's right. It's like, okay, psychic massage. In order to know a person, I need to touch a person's neck. Right. It's almost weird. But and it is. I told you exactly where your little tightness was and I was able to work it right. out. Felt good. Felt yeah. good. I, I was told I have Reiki energy in my hands. Wow. Welcome to the show, Irene. Thank you so much. You're all over the place. So one of these days, I think we need to have you on as well to talk about all the little it. talents that you have. Wonderful. You. Welcome to the show. I'm going to save our special guest for the last. To my extreme right, we have Talisa Michela. Talisa has been an amazing participant as well. She's been on several episodes before. Talisa, the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you, Banu, for allowing me to be here. Pleasure. Um, it's always wonderful to see new faces and uh, special guests and to get to know these wonderful people. It's always a new challenge um, on many levels because you're just learning things different all the time. So no matter what happens, this is always a wonderful a process. balance yeah. all the time. Love the way you express every time in every episode. You put expression to the thoughts that are running through all of our minds, too. So that's beautiful. Thank you, Tilly. So welcome back to the show. Thank you for allowing me to be here, Banu. Pleasure. Sarah Torres to my immediate right, and to Talisa's left, Sarah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for welcoming me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Sarah, you're also an up-and-coming author as well, right? Yes. Okay, you want to well. tell us a little bit about um, your books? It's been a sure, while since yeah. we talked about them. I haven't it. talked about them. I'm working on getting two titles published right now. Um, one is called Something for Everyone. It's a short okay. story and poem book. Mm -hmm. And the other one is called The Fair's Lesson. It's a novel. It's um, going to be a series of three, maybe four. Depends on how I feel. Okay. Yeah, so, so I'm excited so, about those. So if we Google you, 
Sarah Torres. Are those things going to come up? Are those no, things come um, up they're yet? still in the process of being copyrighted, published, oh. and everything. Um, but what you'll find is a Model Mayhem <laughs> account because mm -hmm. I do okay. some some modeling and. You could look up both Sarah Torres and Talisa Michella. Talisa, T I L E S A M I C H E L L E, correct? Yes. Fine, I got it right. Uh, look up Talisa and you'll see her. You're also on Model Mayhem, Talisa? I am on Model Mayhem. I'm also on um, YouTube with Love Train. I remember that. Yes, yeah. I saw that. That I was spooky. Was, yeah, it was creepy. He was so cool. It was nice. And, yeah. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> and also I'm on. Facebook. That's right. So look them up. And Sarah Torres, S-A-R-A-H-T-O-R-E-S. -E Google them both and you'll find they're all over the place as well. I think I'm the only one who's right here on the mat all the time. <laughs> now for our special guest, Shindo Key Rodriguez. Shindo, if I say your name wrong, please correct me. Feel free. This is a very open show. I have no problems being corrected. Did I say that right, first yes. of all? Because our name is our identity. So I want to make sure I get it right. Shindo, a little bit about you. I'm going to share with our viewers the little that I know about you. I know you're a martial arts expert. Now, first of all, before we move on, because you're all over the place as well, my friend. Um, yes, Shindo's details are right there, viewers at home. If you want to get in touch with him, feel free. His website, his, well, you have a Facebook or YouTube yes. account. Facebook, Everything YouTube. is up there. Yes. And his name is spelled beautifully. It's correct, yes. Shindo, a little bit about you, please. Well, um, I would say I'm a martial arts. So I would say practitioner. Okay. Um, you don't want the word expert. Right. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, anyone knows more than me. You're an expert. I would only say because um, I'm always in the practice. Okay. Um, I've been doing this for 19 years. My main style is the goju. Okay. Um, what is goju? Goju is um, it started out in Okinawa under uh, Miyagi. Okay. It is um, it means hard and soft. And um, in Goju, it's not just only karate, but there's uh, a lot of some Tai Chi. This is not Mr. Miyagi of Karate Kid, right? Yes, actually. It is him? Yes. Okay. In wow. fact, yes. <laughs> if you want to, I always tell everybody, if they ask me, what was Goju? I always tell check the Karate Kid out and you'll get okay. the idea. Okay. Oh, wow. Or they can look at me on YouTube and, and right. there. <laughs> right. Look at Shinda Rodriguez. Yes. But go on, tell us. This is fascinating. Tell yeah. us a bit more. Well, Goju is. Um, it started in Okinawa, and uh, now actually Goju has, it's worldwide now, so you have um, Goju in, in Japan, US, uh, UK, Europe, and it's all over the place. Um, you have a brown belt? Yes. How do, how do you, how are those classified? What does brown stand for? Well, brown, well, it starts off as, from what I know, it's um, white, yellow, green, purple, brown, and then black. So, so you're almost there. I'm almost it's there. It's not like a red, green, blue, and purple postures, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. We start with standing the active postures and go down. Yours actually moves up. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. And here's the funny thing. I'll tell you a secret. When you get a black belt and you have it for a long time, the, the belt, you use the belt. It changes color, becomes It turns black. white. Oh, it does? Yes. <laughs> What do yes. you mean? So you go back and you haven't used that skill for a while? Is that what you're saying? Well, because um, you have that one particular boat, um, though it's black, but what it is is they actually dye the boat black. Oh, is that use, what? Um, I thought your yes. skills, you don't use the skills, you go back to start. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't really yes. forget your martial arts skills, right? Once you Never. have them. Never. When, I'm just curious, and no offense, mm -hmm. when do you get to use them in everyday life? Would um, you ever use them or is it only in self-defense? I'm assuming it is self-defense. Well, I see martial arts as everyday life. Um, I see it for, I use it every day for discipline, um, okay. to course, be patient, yes, yes. And, and most of all for, for health-wise. Right. Um, you know, if, if ever, ever I say self-defense, um, I would say it would have to be like death or dying situation, something like that, sort of where, you know, but in most cases, it's like, you know, in martial arts, we teach ourselves always to discipline ourselves, to always um, maintain uh, maintain our focus and, um, you know, always concentrate. Um, that's how I see the martial arts oh, for me. And, and it's wonderful because it's like, um, you always, it's also used, you know, to heal people also right. and to heal oneself as well too. Okay. So, you know, there are times where, um, you know, you could get hit, 
and you do certain breathing exercises and you you won't feel it and even sometimes you get hit in practice and uh, in, in the movies too because i'm since i'm an actor and I've right that's get right <laughs> you just had a role recently uh, you said a background role yes for, for uh, law, in and, law order. and order yes okay all right yes but um but the part with them, because I had also did two movies, I, I filmed, uh, one of them is called Fool's Love and the other one is called Fast Choices. And the martial arts came into place, it came great with me, because um, there was a couple of times I, I got hit, one, one time I got slapped in the face. You had to avoid someone killing you or something, no. that, that was that the role? Actually no, it was, I, I played the main character. And this is actually, actually, this is for a fool's love. I played in my character. There was a part of a fight where I'm fighting the guy. The guy ran, and when he turned around, he didn't mean to hit me, but he slapped me hard in my face. So when I went down, I got up, and I just laughed at him. I said, ah, I said, don't worry about it. And <laughs> that's... I think we all need to stay story. really far from you <laughs> when you start doing a demo. Yes. Shinda, we can't wait to see your demo. Are you all set? While you're getting your shoes on, yes. we're going to move out of your way. We want to be sure. How much space do you need? Oh, just just a little bit. Okay, fact, so I'm you're going to be out there, right? Yes. So we'll all go to the back of our mats. Wonderful. Is there anything else you want to share? Um, because I know you're also an author. Yes, but yes. But you know what? We don't want to go into the author side. I want to see your martial arts side. But yes. what kind of books do you write? Um, basically, I write poetry. I'm a poet. And um, everything everything that I do, um, all my artwork that I do in life, whether it's books, movies, it's actually based on true story of okay. things that I went through and, and things that I've, experienced, that I've experienced in life. So. so before we get too comfortable, we're all going to stand up because you're going to do a standing demo, correct? Yes. All right. Let's yes. all stand up. While Shindo's getting his shoes on, I'd like to thank our amazing crew. Thank you so much, Josie and Hurd, our director. And Rich, thanks so much for the amazing studio setup. We really appreciate that you guys came together as a team. On, on Shindo's, let's, Shindo, you want the space in the front, correct? Um, so we're going to stay in the back. No, no, keep, yeah. keep getting um, the laces up. We're yeah, still rolling. OK, fine. We're all going to go to the back of the mat if you decide to move back. Yes. I'm hoping you'll give us... No, you know what? Okay. I think that mic would block you. That's right. Exactly, and we're going to enjoy yeah. watching you while we do our own little stretches. But yeah, A little please. technique that we have in the acting The camera's is... there. You want to face the camera while you do it. Oh, definitely. little technique that we have in okay. acting is, because I also do fight choreograph, is we concentrate on this okay. and on that. So it's like, intu it's like intu intuition, sure. so we'll know. Okay. So I'll know. <laughs> no, 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 I'll make sure you don't want my mic. Trip over there. <laughs> yes. All right. Make it when you're ready, go ahead. <laughs> and once again, I, I do want to thank, I want to thank you, Bono, for, for Appreciate this opportunity. Appreciate it. We've been waiting to have you on the show for quite some time, so this is great. This thank is great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go ahead.
That was amazing. Thank you. That was wonderful. Thank I have you. some questions. While you take your shoes off, I'm going to keep asking you my questions because I'm sure everyone else has that. I want to get mine in first. Sure. What is the major... Well, get your shoes off. Okay. I noticed something about your breathing. Because it was so intense, uh -huh. because it was so intense, you exhale. Because in yoga, I'm trying to find the similarity between what you do and what we do. Of course, we are the yin part of what you're doing. You're the yang part. It's more yes. intense, more powerful. But also with the breathing, do you exhale when it gets tough? Is that what happens? We do that um, in yoga. Well, when... Uh, you, you know what? I'm going to let you get your breath back because that was pretty intense. <laughs> but we are curious. Do you guys have any questions for him as well? Do you need to do that? Hold your breath? Um, what it is is uh, <laughs> when, when you notice I was doing a lot of like. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is. Um, with a dark right? dark Yeah. Dark we, what we call it in, in Chinese is uh, qi and Japanese is ki. <laughs> okay, that's why you have shindo ki. I was <laughs> very curious about So it's, uh, we usually, like, let's say someone. Uh, hits us in the stomach, you know, we do like if they go, you know, we could just, right. we could just take it out, yeah. like, and reflecting. not just only the stomach, but <laughs> anywhere, we, anywhere. okay, so basically what, you, what are you doing when you have to get that chi, you're exhaling or inhaling? When I, when I exhale, when you seem to go like, <sighs> right, 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 it's to like avoid from passing out, <laughs> right, oh wow, <laughs> because if I continue to just, <clears throat> and I just hold my breath, yeah. That, in a way, that's bad because then <laughs> it can cause all this to explode. Oh, okay. So you're holding all that negative energy inside. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah. I would say like a trance. Like, <laughs> you get into a trance and it's like you're in there. But the trick is, it's not like I'm really holding my breath. Right. The trick is, is I'm, I'm breathing out little by little. For instance, like... So it's very control-focused. <sighs> so... Are you curious about? You should have brought your little ones today. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to. And I should have loved this. Yeah. You can practice on him. Tough little guy, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any other? Any questions? I, I I I don't because I used to I did mixed martial arts for three months and I thought that um, I should take a step back and start doing yoga, something much more on the meditative. So, so the yin kind of side, or the yin side, you can say, yes, mm -hmm. you're right, Banu, before I go back into doing mixed martial arts, because I found it to be something that I was seeking, but at the same token, it was not what I needed at the moment. Right. And because if you go to it in a very different aspect, that it, you can misunderstand why you're doing it. Mm -hmm. But when I was doing it, I realized that this was a much more, a level higher Yes. Like after doing a yoga mm -hmm. in the meditative in the chi, no, no, the tai chi. Yeah. So it's yes, kind of yes, like yes. I have to step back and then before I go forward, I have to do all these other things before I get into mixed martial arts. What I actually what I love about tai chi is because I I do some uh, tai chi and uh, when some people they watch it in my movies they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, that's that's. I've seen that. That just looks like tai chi. Right. <laughs> and so I I think tai chi is wonderful. Um, it's good for... It's more the gentler side. It's more defensive, though. It is. Someone has to be attacking. I used to like Tai Chi. For example, like... It's slow, but it's more difficult because it's cold and it's slowing down. For example, when you saw me doing this, that was Tai Chi. That's right, that's right. But just because, you know, they're going like this doesn't mean anything. This could be any kind of uh, blocking or blocking and maneuvering. Anyone into a Yang sport might find... Our holding time's very long, so I know you're already 
sweating because you got so much energy out there. Your chakras are already up here. <laughs> but you're going to do the sun salutation with us because what we're going to do is take you through some slowdown, a slowdown process. We'll just go through some simple stretches called the sun salutation simply because our viewers are also expecting to stretch a little bit. But yes. I'm sure they enjoyed. If you want to contact Shindo, you know where to get him. His name will come up again at the end of the show. And during the show, too, every now and then, it'll be up there. Shindo Rodriguez, thank you so much. Thank you so Shindo much, Shindo Ki Rodriguez. You don't want to say Shindo Chi Rodriguez. Right. Not the Chinese <laughs> way, but the Japanese way. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your energy with us. Thank you so much, Bonnie. I'm going to, we're going to, I don't know how much time we have, but I'm sure we have enough time to do three rounds of sun salutations. So, are you ready to join us? Yes, You're yes. going to slow down now. That's You're going to slow, we're going to slow you yeah. down. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> Okay, let's stagger ourselves. So, Talisa and Irene, if you want to come forward. Shinda and uh, Sarah, if you're back there. Heels together, toes apart. That is really good. Palms in front of your chest, elbows raised. Inhale, take your arms all the way overhead. Exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. Exhale, press your heels all the way down. Inhale, bring your left foot between your hands. Place your right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes in the right foot and let's ease off just a little bit. Once you have both your hands on your left knee, first of all, let's go a little deeper. Exhale and dip your hip. Left knee is up. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale. Dip your right elbow over your left knee. Place your left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Remember, you want to uncurl your toes, Shindo. You're still in yang mode. Uncurl ah, your toes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. When we talk about holding, when we say hold, it's always hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale. Let's come out of that. Place both your palms beside your left foot. Curl your toes in in the right foot. Lift your right knee up. Take the left leg to meet the right. Now you're in plank position. Knees, chest and chin as you exhale. Let's go down. Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Glide out into cobra as you inhale. Now you want to engage your low back muscles to bring you up in cobra. And to test whether you're using your low back, press with the tops of your feet. Inhale, take your palms off of the floor. Place your palms back on the floor, curl your toes in, forehead to the ground, inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Inhale, bring your right foot between the hands and then the left. Place both your palms together, inhale, come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Inhale, let's do the other side. You don't ever want to miss doing the other side, sorry. I'm going to stagger myself this time. I'll go back. Inhale, take your arms all the way overhead. Tulisa is already there. Exhale, <laughs> fold from the hip. We also energize Shindo by your demo. Thank you. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Because of well, the way we are positioned, I'm going to go a little further. Take your right foot back and then your left. Exhale, press your heels all the way down. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands this time. Place your left knee on the floor, uncurl your toes on the left foot, and let's ease up. You're doing good. <laughs> That's good. Exhale, and dip your hip. Right knee is up. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left hand over your right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Feel free to make any adaptations that you feel you need for today. You should feel a wonderful compression of your obliques on the right side this time and a beautiful stretch on the left side. Inhale, let's come out of that. Both palms beside your right foot. Curl your toes in in the left foot. Lift your left knee off. Take your right foot to meet the left in plank position. Knees, chest, and chin as you lower your body. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra. Press with the tops of your feet and then test 
that you're using your low back by taking your palms off of the floor. Place your palms back on the floor, curl your toes in, forehead to the ground, inhale, lift your buttocks all the way up. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands and then the right. Place both your palms together, keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Exhale and release. We'll do possibly just one more round of sun salutation, but we'll take, we'll combine both sides within the same round. I believe we have a couple of minutes. We're going to give the last minute back to Shindo, and you may have to answer a few questions for us. Yes. Let's run through it very quickly. Heels together, toes apart, palms in front of your chest, elbows raised. Inhale, take your arms all the way up. We're going to go a little faster to keep up with Shindo's pace. Exhale, fold from the hip. Palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back and then the right. Exhale, press your heels all the way down and dip your head between your biceps. Inhale, bring the left foot between the hands. Place your right knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes on the right foot. Remember, we're going to combine two sides. And ease off. <laughs> Exhale, dip your hip. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, dip the right elbow over the left. Place the left palm on top of the right. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. You must have felt it was too easy, right? Going in this side. <laughs> Inhale, come out of that. Both palms beside the right foot this time. Take the left leg back, bring the right foot forward. So come on your knees, bring the right foot forward. You're combining two sides because we have so many questions left. <laughs> Exhale, dip your hip. Right knee is up. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale. Dip your left elbow over your right knee. Place the right palm on top of the left. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. Inhale, both palms beside the right foot. Exhale, curl your toes in in the left foot. Take your right foot back and let's come up all the way. Let's see, press your heels down. Bring the right foot between the hands and then the left. Place both palms in front of you. Keep your arms nice and straight, inhale. Let's come up with a straight back, exhale, and release. We're all going to sit down and ask, we're going to bombard you with a couple of questions. We still have, after the titles start rolling, we usually have at least a minute. Oh, okay. So, I'm assuming that sweat is from your activity, or is it from the sun salutation? No. I don't think it's from our sun salutation, but I think you already had it's the combination. worked out. It's a combination, it's a combination of the combination, two, right? Yes, yes. Questions. That was a warm-up for the sun salutation. <laughs> <laughs> is that a whole kata? Well, is that called? I know in Tai Chi it's called a kata because I... Yeah, they see our, um, we see like forms or uh, katas as we say. Um, it was interesting because some of the warm-ups that, that you were showing, um, I used to, we used to, sometimes in martial arts we do something like some some stuff similar like when we did the legs there. Oh right, right. Yeah, which is which is wonderful. This is actually right. a great it's experience. It's a slide that hasn't touched the mat, so feel. Thank you. For all, I um have to say it was it was amazing. Um, it was an amazing experience watching you. Thank you, thank so you. So any similarities that you found between what you did and what we are doing? Uh, yes, I um the breathing um. Although we, I know, you know, with the breathing, we do the. Thank you, Q, Irene. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> we do the. the but I like the. Yeah, <laughs> he likes it. Like <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> and um, I, I like the, you know, the stretching is is very good because we in in um, martial arts we sometimes we start with like five minutes yeah, stretch before. Right. Yes, right. And, but sometimes. So um, slow down. And sometimes, even like, as you saw, like I just started without working, without actually uh, exercising or warming up. Right. It sometimes it just comes natural, but yeah, that's part um, of what you do. Yes, yes. And Shinda, I'm before you finish, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Okay. I'd like to thank our director Josie and Hurd and Rich for the studio settings. Thanks so much thank for coming you. together as a team. While Shinda, we're going to let Shinda close. But before we do that, on behalf of Irene Mystery, Talisa Michella, and Sarah Torres. This is Banu Suresh signing off, and you are watching Yoga Express. Shinda Rodriguez, it's also on your behalf, but you're the special guest. You get to close. Yes. Keep in touch. Stay in touch with Shinda Rodriguez. Go and ahead. Just one quick word yeah. for everybody that watches out there. Um, always have peace within yourself and peace within one another. And um, what I'm trying to do is, is spread this positive message. So. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm glad to be a part of this. So everybody that's watching, you know. That was an amazing demo, Shindo. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank that was you. great. Thank you. Thank you, Josie. And if we keep, if you are still rolling, that's fine. I was going to say, if you're still rolling, we're going to have them do 